While the workstation is actually over-the-head delivery, many doctors will refer to it as rear. And the main difference is your geometry and the ability to be able to actually reach your patient while you're working. Um, but more importantly, that your dental assistant can take proper position, not only to hand you items, but that you don't have to reach for items. What happens in rear is that this is a stationary unit. It may or may not have a tabletop attached to it. And they make multiple arms that adapt. They don't get close enough to what doctor and assistant can work. What you're forced to do as a doctor is to turn to grab items or twist to grab items. And while this may look like you're turning or twisting, you can still do your dentistry with your dominant hand by transferring over. Many doctors opt for delivery styles that are different than what we offer, and that is okay. You do not have to use an over-the-head delivery style. What we have found are pros and cons to each delivery style. Side is ergonomic, very similar to what I have here to transfer that I can grab with my dominant hand. But what happens if one of you is a lefty? Well, I just position something here on the right side. I'm gonna turn the whole chair around when I'm ready to use my patient. Am I going to do the non-dominant motion? Not really, because we all have to take an opposite position. My assistant needs to be on this side and I need to be on that side. So other than passing it across the patient, which could be scary, there's really not much benefit for a left-handed user on a right-handed delivery style. Technology has also increased through the years since that was first developed. So if you did want to bring in your endo cart or your implant cart, you can't. It's interrupting your position. Rear also places the buttons, if you will, or your presets behind you, or sometimes even in front of the assistant. And that becomes very difficult because they're the ones staring at what the setting needs to be, but you're the user that really needs to be dictating that. So can you see the waste of time that would occur there? Over the patient delivery, which would be a pole coming off of the end of the chair and a tray that would come across the patient, you can appreciate the ergonomics there. The one core value that not only do we have, but is also part of the psychology of the space, is we wanna be staring out of that window. We wanna be staring at things that are non-scary. Bunch of cables and cords are scary. Imagine if you had a child in the chair. I'm gonna grab that. Or everything's hang hanging here in cords below. Or in a continental sense with the cords above that would probably be a little bit more ergonomic. But again, everything's in your face while you're seated. This takes everything away from your vision. And we'll also notice that in the next room that we go to, a single entry room, and why the decision was to turn that chair around.